was good cause welcome back to the channel and today i'm bringing you guys another mlb the show 21 diamond dynasty video and today's kind of like a tips video we're going to be going over some cards that i believe you guys should use in your battle royale runs if you're able to select them in the draft spot to help you guys win more games and possibly go 12 and 0 so if you guys are excited for the video do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you guys are new almost to 1k subscribers that is the goal to hit it in maybe two weeks from now that would be awesome but without further ado i hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. All right, everybody, we are back on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today we are talking Battle Royale, and we are talking cards that you guys should have in your Battle Royale lineups if they are available to you in the draft that are going to help you guys win more games and hopefully, eventually, get you to 12-0. So we're going to start things off with the easy ones, and the easy ones are going to be the Diamond cards. Obviously, all the Diamonds in this game are good at this point in the year, so you can't go wrong with really any of the Diamonds that they give you as options right now when it comes to battle royale but there are a few that you guys do see in your draft that you should grab instantly no hesitation you guys want to have in your lineups at all times and the first one is going to be the best player in the mlb it is going to be 95 overall mike trout man is diamond hitting he is gold defense he is one of the best cards in the entire game right now with over 100 power against righties over 90 power against lefties 98 contact against righties, 85 contact against lefties. When I play this man in Battle Royale, he takes me deep all the time. It is so hard to get this man out in Battle Royale. It's absolutely insane. And then his speed is pretty solid at above 80, and he has great defensive stats as well. Can't go wrong with Mike Trout. The next card I'm going to be showing you guys now is the 99 overall Chipper Jones Diamond card. Now, obviously, this man is a 99 overall. He's going to be one of the best cards in the game, if not the best card in the game. But there's something about him that I really, really like compared to the David Ortiz 99 overall and the Alfonso Soriano 99 overall. I think this card is the best of those three guys to be 99s. He has diamond hitting, diamond defense. Basically, every hitting stat is over 100 absolutely unbelievable only thing is vision um, and that doesn't matter too much as long as you have a good eye yourself he has over 100 contact on both sides over 100 power on both sides and 125 discipline 100 uh, 107 clutchness and obviously he is a switch hitter so that is awesome to have as well can bat on the right side of the plate or left side of the plate so he always has an advantage no matter which kind of pitcher he's going up against and then he has solid fielding stats he's going to make every play for you guys for the most part can't go wrong with 99 chipper jones i think he's the best 99 out there okay so i'm only going to show you guys three diamonds in the video then we're going to do five golds five silvers four bronzes and then maybe some unranked guys we'll see for the most part i'll explain what i do for those guys in a second when we get there but i am going to show you guys one pitcher for diamonds i usually do not take a diamond pitcher i usually take two diamond hitters but if you're one of those people who want a very very solid pitcher my best bet to go to is probably the base 91 overall Jacob deGrom who's actually upgraded to a live series right now 93 overall this man has everything that you would need in a pitcher if you wanted to bring him in you know to start a game for you guys in battle royale he has 99 velocity which is awesome a very solid breaking ball he's got very good stamina for you and he's got good hits per nine innings and good strikeouts per nine innings again I don't usually go with pitchers in battle royale out, especially at the diamond or gold level sometimes i'll get a reliever one or two which i'll show you guys you know in the gold level as well but majority of the time i get them in silver and bronze but if you want to go diamond pitcher go with degrom okay so now we're in the gold division so i'm going to show you guys five gold cards to choose from the first one we're not going to show off a power bat i know a lot of people in this mode including myself like to draft power in this mode you like to hit home runs because it's a three inning game you hit a couple home runs the game's over but sometimes you got to play small ball sometimes you need a star defensive player and that is why we're choosing byron bucks in here diamond defense 99 speed that reaction time is a 99 as well 99 fielding he's going to make just about every single play you know that you guys want to make in the outfield he's going to pick it up if you have power bats in right field and left field byron buxton is going to be the center that keeps it all together that is why i recommend him 
Okay, up next is a guy who's going to give you monstrous power in this game. We're getting to the power bats now, but he's also a stud on the defensive side of the ball as well. And we're talking about uh, 83 overall, Joey Gallo here. Over 100 power against lefties and 100 power exactly against righties. Not the best contact in the world, but if you're good with your PCI, he's going to put the ball out of the ballpark regardless. And then his defense surprises me, but it is absolutely amazing with a diamond defense rating. He's got 90 feeling, 96 reaction action timing and 99 acceleration so he's going to speed up if you put him and Buxton out there in the outfield because his primary position is right field but you can play him at all the secondary positions you guys are going to see on the field here so he can play first third left or center as well does have decent speed at 51 not too slow I think if you get Buxton and Gallo in your outfield you're in good shape up next is going to be Yerman Mercedes, 84 overall gold catcher. The reason you pick him is because there are not a lot of superstar catchers with monstrous power in this mode, and he is one of them, and I think he's well one of the best swings in the game right now. I know a lot of people are loving his card. That is why I'd go with him at diamond hitting rating. He's not the best on defense, but as long as you don't have a lot of guys stealing bases, he should still be able to throw them out, but you should be fine you know, with the defense at the rating that he has as long as he has that good power. So like I said earlier with Jacob deGrom, I don't like to go with pitchers probably at the gold or diamond level, but if I am going to pick one of these gold starters here, it's going to be Shane Baz from the Tampa Bay Rays. If he is available to you guys, just if you want a very good uh, starting pitcher there, you know, to start games with, you could pick a gold. It's up to you guys, you know, your strategy, whatever you want to do. He has good stamina. He's got very good velocity at 92 and then even better breaking ball stuff at a 97 overall. He's got four pitches to work with a four seam fastball, which is about 98 miles per hour an 86 mile per hour slider, a changeup, and a pretty good curveball. So I'm going to give you guys one relief option at gold as well, even though I definitely wouldn't go this route. I wouldn't pick a gold reliever because there are a lot of good silver relievers and bronze relievers and even unrated uh, relievers as well. Throw fast and throw good breaking ball stuff. And that's what you guys want in your relievers. But if you want to go to gold one, Taylor Rogers here I found has 96 velocity, 99 breaking ball with a sinker, slider, sweeping curve. Pretty good pitches there. You probably pick him if you do get a reliever at your gold spot, but I would recommend staying away from that. Now we're going to talk silver, guys. And the first one up here is Mike Moustakis. Reason I'm picking him for you guys is that you're not going to find more power, I think, at the second base position for a silver car than Mike Moustakis. Has 88 power against righties and 73 power against lefties. Pretty, pretty solid. And he's not going to kill you there in the field. I'd recommend picking him. Up next, we have Alberto Mondesi, who plays shortstop. He has diamond defense and 95 speed. That is why you're picking him onto your team. He has okay contact. If you get him on, you can steal bases with him, and he's going to make all the plays for you guys in the field. That is why I recommend selecting him for your shortstop. Now, this Hunter Renfro card does it all. As a right fielder, you can put him anywhere in the outfield if you guys want. Has diamond defense with an absolute cannon of an arm there in the outfield. He can throw guys out from right field to third base if they try to tag from second base. You know he's going to be able to make all those throws. And he has monstrous power. 99 power against lefties and 77 power against righties. This card is very underrated for a silver card. If you see him in your Battle Royale draft, make sure to snag him up. Before we continue, if you guys are enjoying the video, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. If you found this video helpful, let me know down in the comments what other cards should we be using here in Battle Royale. These are just my opinions, not always going to be the correct cards. So let me know other opinions for other cards that you guys think in the comments down below and let everyone else know what cards you're using to win your Battle Royale games. But up next, we have Shohei Otani. Reason you're going to pick Shohei Otani is because he has 90 velocity, 99 breaking balls, and then he's good hitting the ball he is good you have to play a pitcher at your nine spot in your lineup so why not pick a pitcher that you know could hit you bombs and Shohei Otani is the man to do that Okay, the last silver card we're going to talk about right now is going to be this 79 overall Aroldis Chapman, and I hate playing this card in Battle Royale because when he mixes the fastball with the slider and the changeup and somebody you're playing knows how to hit their spots, this card is so hard to play against. I hate playing against him. Obviously, 99 velocity is going to throw the ball for you over 100 miles per hour, and that is what you want out of your rotation and your bullpen, so you want to go ahead and select Aroldis Chapman. Up next is going to be, I think, the best bronze card in this game, at least for hitting-wise, and I think this Austin Riley card is absolutely unbelievable. I hit like crazy with this guy. He has over 100, not over 100. He has 100 power exactly, excuse me, against lefties and 74 power against righties with decent defense. He's not going to make a lot of plays for you guys. I know it says he's unranked on defense, but he has decent defense stats. He's not the worst to put out there at third base. Or if you need a pinch hitter to come off the bench, this man can hit you a bomb if you need it. You know, so I would select Austin Riley. I think he's very underrated in this game. 
Okay, now we have Miguel Sano, who's going to play first base for you guys. Could play third or could play outfield as well. Only reason why I pick him here is because if you want to put him in a different spot besides first base, third base, left field, right field, he has very good power. So if you can get him somehow into your lineup, he is going to deliver for you guys over 80 power on both sides of the ball there against righties and against lefties. Not the best defensive player, so maybe try to keep him at first base if you can. There are a lot of good first basemen in Battle Royale, but if you want to go on a budget and wait till your bronze card to get him, you could get Miguel Sano and be happy with it. Same thing with Justin Upton here. He's not the best defensively, but he has very good power. If you want a pinch hitter to come off your bench or you need somebody to stick in the outfield, maybe in right field, might not be too many plays to him. But if he gets up to the plate, he has decent contact and very good power. Can deliver the long ball for you guys. And like I said, that's the main thing you want to do in Battle Royale. Okay, so the last card I'm going to show you guys here in the bronze tier is going to be this relief pitcher, Victor Gonzalez, who throws a sinker, slider, and four-seam fastball, but he has 98 velocity and 99 breaking ball stuff. You need this man to come out of your bullpen in these Battle Royale games and throw those over 100 mile per hour fastballs. He is essential to have in your Battle Royale uh, rotations and bullpens if you guys are able to select him. Again, velocity and breaking ball, high 90s are huge in this mode. You can get them from bronze and unranked cards cards that is where i would go pick victor gonzalez and other guys like him okay everybody so that's gonna do it for the video today i hope these cards will help you win more battle royale games and hopefully get you guys to go 12 and 0 i'm still trying to go 12 and 0 i've been close a few times with these cards i feel like they've been helping me more and more every time it's only a matter of time till we hit that 12 and 0 let me know down in the comments below if you've gone flawless have you got that flawless pack yet in battle royale i would like to know but if you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe button if you guys are new trying to hit 1,000 subscribers so if you guys can help me out with that that would be absolutely awesome but that's gonna do it for me today guys i'll see you guys in the next video have a great rest of your day peace out